The focus was on the women in our world at the United Nations this week, especially working women who are providing for their families and hoping to change long-held misconceptions about the role of females in their societies. For details, we turn to our Oh Young. Life in a small Ugandan village has improved as of late, thanks to a female entrepreneur called Betty Nduga. She strives not only to provide for her family and the families of the village, but also to change social views on gender. After her husband passed away, she trained in coffee production at a local school supported by the United Nations Food and Agricultural Organization. There she learned how to produce seedlings, and then she turned around an old nursery that she'd inherited from her father. Not only has she procured an income for herself, she's also revived the local coffee bean industry, which had experienced a huge downturn since the early 90s due to a coffee wilt disease that destroyed over 12 million plants. But now, a wilt-resistant variety of seedlings has been developed. They're sold to the Ugandan Coffee Authority, which distributes them to local farmers. Today I've taken 250 seedlings that after like some two years to come, I'll be able to yield. Then I sell and I, I add on my income, educate my children, looking after my family and all the basic needs. Women in Nepal are also taking on new skills to build their own businesses. Sunita Shrestha runs a small handicraft company in the Nepali capital of Kathmandu. Recently, she's been able to take her business to the next level by training with the local entrepreneurial association for women, supported by the UN's International Labour Organization. I don't know how to run my factory, how the management, everything, and uh, how to pro profit and how, how, how to put the costing pricing, everything I learn after the training. A new survey from the ILO shows that 70% of women in 140 countries across the world want to be working. And 66% of men wanted the same for the women and their families. However, UN officials say that a giant leap in global efforts is needed to empower working women across the world who only make tenth of the global income while doing two-thirds of the world's work in terms of hours. Also Young, Arirang News.